So how much can I get for a trade? Well, I don't think bananas are worth what you think they're worth. If shopping for a new car drives you bananas, head to Community Auto Group in Mason City. We have the best selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. And you know with Community, you're getting a straightforward deal from a straightforward dealer. I'd like to buy this car. No? Seriously? Next time, I'll skip the monkey business and go to Community Auto Group. Communication, Mary? Yes. Um, I'd like to talk about your lunch last week uh, downtown We're, Mason City. That's not on the agenda. So that's correspondence we'll go, and communication, we'll sir. I'd like to discuss Mary, it. Jay, Mr. Erdahl, I'd like Sheriff to discuss Cal. and have my chance to discuss it. Mary? Sure. Well, we've uh, put on your agenda the proclamation for the Sexual Assault Awareness Month that we've done in the past. and. Uh, We've presented that uh, for for the board's uh, signing, and uh, Mary's got a little more additional information on some of the events that we're holding in the month of April. We are going to be holding weekly lunch and learn sessions. Our first one starts tomorrow, so every Wednesday we will have some type of educational session over the lunch hour at Music Man Square. Tomorrow we will start with a panel discussion of the criminal justice system response to sexual assault. Um, which will feature uh, Sheriff Pals and the uh, Surrogate County Attorney's Office, as well as Mercy Medical Center, our agency, and Mason City Police Department will basically be taking, showing how a sexual assault is responded to in the county, starting from the 911 call or initial hospital visit through, hopefully through a successful prosecution and long-term incarceration. Um, Next week we will have a video that talks about sexual assault in the military and the impact it has on our troops and survivors. And then on the 27th we will have a hands-on presentation of self-defense techniques. And then on the 24th of the month is the highlight of the month, I think, for many men in town. It's our annual Walk a Mile in Our Shoes where male community leaders um, that care about ending violence against women um, will put on shoes and walk in Center Park to help raise awareness. So we're hoping we can count on all of the supervisors to participate this year. All right, we have guests that's just arrived. If you want to introduce. You can introduce yourself a bit. I am Robin McClellan. I am a mayor for service members in our Iowa Child Abuse Prevention Council, and I also sit on the Women's Violence Co Coalition. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Sheriff, sure, comments. No, nothing other than uh, we're you know we've got a bunch of uh, events planned to bring more awareness to North Iowa on the uh, sexual sexual assault and trying to eliminate it if we can and get more people interested in uh, reporting and trying to do something about the the issue that's uh, causing a lot of pain and victims and victims' family and their friends. Within the county, one of the things we've been working on. Little about the last year is developing a countywide uh, protocol to respond to sexual assault. Um, right, I mean, we've been responding very well in the last probably 20 years, as long as Kevin and I have been here. Someday we hope, or I hope to retire, I, I don't know about Kevin. And we just want to make sure we have a written protocol in place so that our successors continue the, the collaboration and a lot of the teamwork that we've built into the system. So. We're working on a, developing a written protocol with best practices for the community. So we're hoping within the next four to five months we'll be able to unveil that to the community as well. I don't think Kevin's ever planning on retiring, right, Kevin? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, comments? You're not going to have the walk over and clear the lake? We're just doing one this year. We're making it easier for, for you all to attend. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, I'd like to discuss the lunch. I already asked for my chance You're to address the board, sir. You just you just asked me. You just said yes to me, sir. I'd like to have my chance to address the board about your free lunch at downtown Mesa City last week, sir. How much more do the people in North Iowa know, owe you, Mr. Erdahl? Free mileage reimbursement, cell phone reimbursement, sir. You addressed me. I couldn't quite hear. Forty-five thousand dollars salary. The only thing other that we brought to your board's attention was the proclamation that we'd like you to sign for the Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Okay, it's uh, 
It's entitled, it's, it's Time to Speak Up, Sexual Assault Awareness Month Pro Proclamation. I'll read it if you'd like. Uh, Whereas Sexual Assault Awareness Month is intended to draw attention to the fact that sexual violence is widespread and impacts every community member of Saratoga County, and whereas rape, sexual assault, and sexual harassment impact our community, as seen by statistics indicated that one in five women and one in 71 men will be raped at some point in their lives, and whereas child sexual abuse pre prevention must be a pre priority to confront the reality that one in six boys and one in four girls will experience a sexual assault before the age of 18. And whereas we must work together to educate our community about sexual violence prevention, supporting survivors and speaking out against harmful attitudes and actions. And whereas with leadership, dedication and encouragement, there is evidence that we can be successful in preventing sexual violence in Saratoga County through increased education, awareness, and community involvement, and whereas the Saratoga County Attorney's Office, Saratoga County Sheriff's Office, Police Department of Clear Lake, Crisis Intervention Service, Police Department of Mason City, and Mercy Medical Center of North, North Iowa strongly support the efforts of national, state, and local partners and of every citizen to actively engage in private and public efforts to prevent sexual violence it is time for all of us to start the conversations, take appropriate actions, support one another for a safer environment for all. Therefore, be it resolved that I.J. Erdahl join um, advocates and commu communities across the country in playing an active role in the prevention of sexual violence, along with the United States government, the state of Iowa, I do, I do hereby proclaim uh, April as Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and of course that goes for my colleagues as well. We have a motion to approve that. So moved. Uh, I'll second that. Okay. Okay. Motion made and approved to um, adopt the uh, proclamation on Sexual Assault Awareness Month. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Appreciate you taking your time to be here. Yes. Mr. Riddle, you asked the sheriff when he was going to step down. When are you going to step down? We have You've met, taken free meals of, without uh, reimbursing, sir. When are you going to step down? Maybe you should resign. Okay. I'll second it. Thank you. Motion made. Phil, you just cut me off. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much, everyone. Excuse me. I'd like, my, I'd like an answer. Mr. Riddle, when are you going to step down? How many more free lunches are you set for this week, sir? <laughs> What about you? Uh, it was a good lunch. Was I'll it a good that lunch? Right was, was that a gift one? from the mayor, sir? Huh? Was that a gift from the mayor? Are you going to reimburse for I that? Hope, I hope so. It was a gift from the mayor. He said he was going to take care of it. Well, then are you going to are you going to pay back? No, no. Was it in a value of over three dollars? It, was, it wasn't anything that was had to do with this. It was on the agenda, sir, for the county courthouse. It's so? an open meeting. You sat it by while I was thrown meeting. out of the meeting, sir. It wasn't an open meeting. Yes, it was because the mayor was acting in his capacity as mayor. Forget all. How are you, sir? Good. It's fine.